Hi, my name is Elizabeth Tabaraba, a biomedical engineer at Open02. Today, I'm with my colleague, Kelvin Saidi, and I'm also a biomedical engineer with the Open02 team. In this video, we're going to bring you a process of refilling seed bed of Devo Beats 525 oxygen concentrator using the snowfall method. So, when an oxygen concentrator has run for a long period of time, it starts to produce low purity oxygen. This can be due to a number of reasons, one of which is the degrading of the zeolite that is found in the seedbed. So replacing this zeolite would fix the low purity problem. But this is not the only solution out there. One would choose to replace the whole pair of seedbeds with new ones. But this has proven not to be cost effective and therefore it is not ideal in low resource settings. Stay with us as we bring you a comprehensive process of refilling these seedbeds. For a successful seedbed refilling process, we're going to need different tools and materials. Firstly, you are going to need these screwdriver bit sets. This will be used to open the concentrator and access the seedbed. We're going to need these two different jigs, of which the first one is used for opening the seedbed and this one is used for closing the cut seedbed. Moving on, you will need this hacksaw. You use this to cut the seed beds in order to access the hot zeolite. We're going to need a snow fork that is used when refilling the zeolite in the seed bed. And also, we we'll need a bag of new zeolite to refill with the degraded one. You need this debarring tool, a smooth flat file, and a P320 sandpaper to smoothen the rough edges of the cut seed bed. Uh, we're also going to need a ruler. This one is used to measure the clearance of the zero in the seed bed and also a center punch template that is used for marking holes on the seed bed that is being cut. You need this drilling machine and two types of bits. I have the 3mm bits and the 2.3mm bits. A 3mm bit will be used to drill holes on the cut seed bed, while the 2.3mm bit will be used to drill holes in the PVC. A center part will also be needed as you are marking the points on the seed bed. And also, we we'll need this PVC end caps, of which this one is going to be used as a support to the cut seed bed to avoid any damage. And these two are going to be used for covering the two seed beds. You need these self tapping Phillips screws. You also need this humidity sensing device in order to check for the humidity in the room, which you are using to replace the zeolite. We are also going to need a towel and a bucket of clean water. These are used for cleaning the o ring to make sure that um, no part of the o-ring is damaged when cutting the seed bed. You also need this C-clamp. So this will be used uh, on one of the jigs that is used to cut the seed bed to hold it in place. And last but not least, you need this needle nose plier to remove the filter that is in the seed bed. Before you start, you have to make sure that the room you are in has a humidity of less than 50%. This is because the moisture content in the air whose humidity is below 50% is not enough to contaminate the zeolite. So in our case, we are using an air conditioner to reduce the humidity to 44%. So it is important to note that there are many ways of reducing humidity in a particular room. More information on that can be found in the video whose link is in the description below. For a 525 Dorobis oxygen concentrator, we need a T25 bit to open it.
after removing the seed beds from the concentrator, it's now time to start cutting the seed bed. So we we'll take the seed bed, place it on the jig, we we'll take our hacksaw and start cutting. So as you are cutting the seed bed, make sure you are rotating the seed bed to make sure that it is being cut evenly. There is a spleen that can fly out and harm those around you and even yourself. So be careful. As you can see, the brim of the seat bed is sharp and uneven. So you need to take care when handling it so you also need to make sure that you've secured the spring and the cap set as we will need them as we go on now we need to remove the o-ring that is around this end cap so we remove it and then clean it After that you need to inspect it to make sure that it was not damaged during the cutting process. Using the file, debarring tool and sandpaper, smoothen the brim of the safe bed until it's no longer sharp and is even before removing the filter and the metal mesh. the metal mesh and filter from the safe bed. After I have done that, using a ruler, take the level at which the zero is from the beam of the safe bed. I note it down, it's usually in the range of 20 to 25 millimeters. I'm going to drill three holes on these safe beds at 120 degrees apart uh, using the drilling machine. But before doing that, we're going to use this as an enforcement to the safe bed to avoid any deformation that can happen along the way. Unlike this PVC end cap that we are going to use uh, when covering it because if we use this it means we are going to have a hard time when we are lining it. To achieve the 120 degrees pressing there are different ways of doing it. In our case we are going to use this center pan position template which can be found from our different online platforms. Using a center punch, punch on the marked position on the template. Using a drilling machine, we will drill holes on the points that were marked by the center punch.
now it's time to refill our seat bed. So take the snowfall and put it on top of the seat bed. We pour the zerite on the snowfall in a circular way. This helps for an even distribution of the zeolite in the bed and for good compaction result. And then check the levels. Do this until the level of the zeolite in the bed matches the initial level. When done, take the bed to the jig, arranging the cup set as was the case during this assembly with a PVC cup on top. Press down the jig and using a drilling machine, drill into the PVC cup on the points that were marked on the bed. Using a screwdriver, drive in the self tapping screws. Remember to always hold down the jig as all this is happening. When done, do a pressure test and a leak test. For comprehensive pressure and leak test, follow the link in the description. So that was it on the seedbed defeating of a Devubis 525 oxygen concentrator using the snowfall method. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.